Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is BC. This is Supreme Being, the podcast. Wanted to welcome everybody. We do this podcast every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Shout out to Team BC, my real estate team. If you guys are interested in joining, go to jointeambc.com. If you guys are inter interested in learning more about eXp Realty and joining eXp Realty as a real estate agent, go to partner with teambc.com. Lastly, shout out to Modern Success, my family. We had a lot of people join the end of the year. If you're interested in really getting support from me and learning some stuff that I don't cover anywhere else and having more access to me, go to briancasella.com or the link in my bio on Instagram and join Modern Success. I recommend anybody who follows me, who values any of my material at all that's serious about taking their business and their lives to the next level to join Modern Success, all right? So let's begin. Um, I wanted to talk about um, a few things today because something that I see come up, right, with a lot of people who ask me questions, and I see this in life all the time, and I wanted to break it down in a way uh, that people can understand, right? This subject is talked about a lot, yet I think on the individual level, a lot of people, uh, they don't approach it properly, and they still are a little bit confused about it, or they may hear certain advice about it and topics being thrown around in regards to it and feel that they have a, a good grasp on it, all right? but I don't think they do in application. So let's talk about this, okay? People in life will tell you, you've changed. Man, this person has changed. Oh, you've changed. Whoa, you've changed a lot, right? Any, any version of that, okay? I see it on my YouTube all the time because a YouTube is a good reference where people maybe don't watch my videos for a couple months or for whatever reason, maybe they unsubscribe or they're just not active. And then three months later, six months later, they'll come on and they'll see that I've changed, right? And they make the comment. Yet, when you, when you look at it, right, from the outside, the way that they write the comment or in person, right? This is where you can make a parallel uh, comparison, right? In person or the comment, you can tell there's a hint of negativity behind it, right? Or passive aggressiveness or some kind of jab that they throw at you, right? And what's most important about what I, what I just said is you can feel it, right? Like, you know where that comment is coming from. Just like if we give an in-person example, if somebody walks up to you and like, man, you've changed and, and they have a very happy tone and they're looking at you like, man, look at you, bro. You look, you look great, right? Which we may get from friends or certain supportive people that we know, right? You know what that's like, but you also know probably more frequently the opposite. Like, oh, whoa, you've changed, right? It's almost like there's this, this I'm disappointed tone associated with it, right? And I know a lot of people deal with it, for sure. Especially if you uh, see people regularly, you go to family, friends, parties, and family gatherings, you're going to hear some sort of variation of that statement, okay? And I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I think how you process that, how you deal with it is extremely important, anything that you do. And I see a lot of people being held back on every level because of things like that, all right? We, we have to understand this, right? Our perception has been built by how we were raised and what society says to a certain degree, unless you're somebody who's very um, aware, your consciousness and awareness has gone super high, you've rewired and worked your beliefs and philosophies, and you've transcended that, that level of living. If you haven't, if you haven't, then okay, you're going to fall into the norm, which is what everybody falls into practically, probably 90, 95% of the world. Okay. And what I mean by that is this, to, to 90, 95% of the world, having tattoos, tattoos means you're a piece of shit. You've been in prison. There's some negative association. You're on drugs, et cetera, et cetera. You have long hair, you're a slob or a hippie, right? If you wear beads, you think you're a monk or you think you're woke or you're right. Hippie, same shit, right? There's a, so you, you wear earrings and you're a dude, you're gay or, or you're not supposed to do that, right? There's a lot of things that when I say it, 90% of people will agree for the most part, okay? So you have to understand that because of what I just said being true. Now, you may be fortunate enough that you're in a circle that doesn't think that way. Fantastic. Good for you. Good for you, okay? But you, what you need to understand is this. Since most people fall into those normal labels and beliefs, their perception is just that. So, of course, when they evaluate you on a conscious level, their subconscious is already writing out all the definitions. So when they look at you and they say you've changed, they're a robot program response. They've been built to produce the response that says, oh, you've changed. 
I, I don't like I don't like what I see. Right? Yet you'll take it to heart and you'll think that they're they because they know you, they know everything about you, right? They're 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 thinking objectively and they're just gonna throw that label on you and you're gonna say, Wow, okay, maybe something is wrong with me or have I changed for the worse or something like that? You start questioning yourself based on somebody else's assessment. Where else do we see this? We see this in advice that people give us, right? You've heard the story and I'll repeat it real quick so everybody understands. When I was new in the real estate business, okay? Now I've heard this every time in my life, but this is the most recent example. And many of you are dealing with this too in your lives at every, in every degree. When I started, there was a lot of what's missing or why I can't be successful in real estate or in business, right? You're too young, right? No one's going to take you serious. You don't own any suits. You don't have any connections. You don't have enough money, right? I can give you a laundry list of things that people told me why I couldn't. It, it never was, well, yeah, you got a shot, go for it. It was always what's missing, which is literally this. It's a pessimistic viewpoint of something with uh, an assumption, underlying assumption that's an opinion, except that it's fact because it's been passed down so much, okay? So in the beginning, right, as a different angle to what I just told you before, I said, you know what? You're telling me, sir, that I'm too young to have success in this business, right? You're telling me, you know what? I'm going to go test your advice and your theory to see if this reigns true. And, and this is, in fact, a, a verifiable piece of information. So I went out. I talked to 300 people running this experiment. You know how many told me that they would maybe not work with someone because they're too young? One. One! So what's one out of 300? 0.33%. So I went back to that person and said, fuck you, dude. Why are you giving bad advice? I just talked to 300 people and one said no. And you're going around giving people that advice. That's fucked up of you. Why are you doing that? Stop. If you don't know what you're talking about, shut the fuck up. Right? Now, I get so upset about that because we have a population on the planet of those examples giving advice. And you fuck up the next generation of the next person unknowingly with your ignorance, because you think you know. Me and most people in general, we don't know shit. I'm not sitting here saying I know everything. I don't. But how come people who are unqualified in all these areas go around giving fucking advice as if they know? Because I'll challenge that person and they'll still stand on their two feet quoting some random fucking person or, well, I wouldn't trust them, so most people won't. Well, fuck you, dude. You're one person. You're one person. And, and if we look at it objectively, your opinion is shit because you're a nobody in that particular field. So I start asking them, what are your credentials to make that statement? Have you worked a lot in real estate? Have you yourself worked in the career? Do you have any experience? Are you speaking from experience or something that was handed down to you? Right? And, people, and some of these people will get upset when I challenge them. I'm like, dude, nobody's challenged you. It's true. What do you do, sir, for a living? You're a plumber. Okay. Would you want me, somebody who has zero information or experience, with plumbing over here, wanting to, you know, be a tough guy and give you information about plumbing? No, you would think I'm an idiot, right? So why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Okay. Now the issue isn't, I'm telling you, oh yeah, you know, talk down to people. No, no, not at all. But I want you to, to understand whether it's people saying you've changed or this example, when something comes in, you, you need to, your antenna needs to go up at all times for sure. The perception of people and labels and understandings for most people have never been analyzed and interpreted, meaning they've never gone through and went through all these little data points in their mind and said, okay, my assumption about money is this, or tattoos is this, or this clothes is this, or cars, right? And, and then they've never gone through and said, well, did I put that belief in there? Is that verifiable? Or was that just handed down? Like the, another example I give people is, let's say like your family had a recipe for something, right? And ask, hey, mom, how come you always put six eggs in the recipe? Well, it's just what your, uh, my mom did. Then you ask your grandma, hey, grandma, why'd you do it? Well, it's just what my, uh, my mom did. Then you ask your great-grandmother, hey, how come, how come you put the extra eggs? She's like, well, one day I was missing this ingredient and I had to put in extra eggs. So now it got passed down and people are just doing it, but they never went to the source to find out why there was a change in the recipe. Right? That's an example of how things get passed down. So it, it was never based on when you ask your mom on fact, oh, it's for this specific reason. It was just because it was tradition or someone else said it. 
and it's been passed down so many generations and through so many people that it just becomes accepted. This is, by the way, how opinion quickly becomes fact in the world with, with no ground to stand on. And because enough people say it, it's accepted, which is weird. It should never be like this. Yet we will never question it. And the worst part is I'm not saying question the whole world all the time about this stuff, but for your life and for your sake. How many of you are dealing with stuff right now where you have things on your mind or certain things that you've accepted from somebody else, whether it's a doubt or, uh, you know what, I really shouldn't go after this career. I should do this or something that you really want to do or something you want to achieve or something that you've decided and you're not pulling the trigger on it, you're not acting on it, or you're not accepting a belief or philosophy because of something like this. It's sad, right? So now when I hear you've changed, I'm like, absolutely, bro. Thank you for acknowledging it. I change a lot all the time. We're supposed to change. That's one of the laws of the universe. There's no stagnant state in the universe. Everything is changing all the time. We are designed to evolve. We are designed to get better. We're designed to grow. Look at nature. Look at the human body. Look, look at our evolution. This is a part of the proper construct. There's a code in us, in nature, present, that exhibits that quality. It's supposed to change. So if you're not changing, well, you are. You're just not changing for the good. and You're not doing a conscious effort of changing. You're stagnating, which is bad. Water flows. It's a conductor. It's clean. It's perfect. Water stagnates, what does it start doing? It breeds disease. That's when mosquitoes come and everything is messed up. But that same water, you keep it running, it's good. So how many of you have maybe heard that in the last week? Oh, you've changed. Or in the last month or two months. And you crash every time you hear it or you start questioning yourself. You need to understand where that's coming from. Remember that 99% of people telling you that or anything similar to that, advice, criticisms, judgments, those statements have no idea what they're saying or they have such a warped, they have such a warped perception of the world, you know, and they're saying it from that perspective, okay? And you accept it as if they're the all-knowing being that runs everything in your life and their opinion is so fucking strong. And man, I suffered from this so much in the beginning. I used to care so much about what people thought about me. And, and this is really tough to confront when you start growing a business, whether online or offline, because more people are going to see you and you're going to interact with more people. And by virtue of that, you're going to run into this. Even if a small percentage of people are rude or do this to you, like aggressively, right? The more people that know you and the more people you engage with and reach, obviously, mathematically, you're going to have more of these interactions, which kind of sucks which kind of sucks, but it's okay, right? Because that's what builds your character. That's what builds your character. And you need this shit, but you have to confront it from the experience standpoint, which is what I'm telling you by you doing what you're supposed to do, but also with having the right tools up here and the right understandings and information. Now you have both fronts covered. You're engaging with life, you're learning from experience and you're going through what you need to go through, but you're equipped with the right tools and information to be able to assess those situations and challenges and obstacles properly. And then you can handle them quicker because when you don't pass the test, you keep getting presented the test over and over. That's the way this world works and the universe works. It's going to keep giving it to you over and over until you pass. And every time the test is going to get harder and harder. So if you're equipped with the right tools, maybe you only have to go through the test once or twice or maybe three times and you pass. But if you don't, and you're not evolving and growing and learning, you're presented the same test over and over and over and over, and you're digging yourself a deeper hole. You really are. That's been my experience as well. I see these tests continuing to come up and up and that, that, that filter is always on. Someone says, oh, you've changed. I'm like, oh, that's a test. How am I going to respond to this? How do I respond? Absolutely. Thank you for noticing. Now, if they have something negative to say, it's going to come right after that. Oh, bro, man, you got, man, you look beat up. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What exactly do you mean by beat up? Well, you know, your hair is getting long. The fuck does that have to do with looking beat up, bro? My hair is getting longer. Okay. And so that signifies something negative to you. How about you ask me about my hair instead of automatically saying, cause I'm growing my hair out. It's long and it's stupid and I'm not well kept. Right. 
So all I do is if I really want to go in on them, I'll just ask them questions. And if you ask them questions, they'll melt down because you'll see that again, the basis of their information is dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. Oh man, you know, that shirt you're wearing, right? Oh, that suit jacket is too loud. There's always something. There's always something, right? Yet if we're not, again, properly prepared or with the right information, we're going to react too, too extremely to that or we get too caught up in it. We put too much focus and energy on it. I acknowledge it for what it is. It's white noise, right? Like you, you turn on the TV and the static is on. That's all it is. But we will fight with that white noise instead of just acknowledging it and either turning the volume down or flipping the channel. So you have the choice and I've learned a lot. I, I've engaged with those people. I've blocked them. I've smashed them, right? By handling them and then sharing it. And I can tell you that the, the best thing you can do in this life is have more understanding than the next person. Cause that puts you in a position of complete control and it takes emotions out of it. It takes emotions out of it, right? Not to say that you're not going to experience emotions. No, but you're going to make every choice and every reaction that you make and choice. When you create something, when you say something, when you cause, you're in the cause point, you're not the effect anymore. Now you're living at a different level because I can choose what I want to do. And in most cases, I don't mind those comments and, and, and things people write or what they say to me. Why? Because why would I waste my time? It's not worth it. I, I have other things to do and things to focus on. Whereas, you know, five, six years ago, that would, that would ruin half my day. And we allow that to fuck with us, man. Who cares? And, and when you really look at it, right? And, and this is what, th this is what I want to say on this, right? I want you with everything I just said to think, okay, you'll get a comment like that, right? Your hair or, you know, you've changed in your existence, right? You have 24 hours in a day, however, however many interactions you have in a day, right? Ask yourself if you have some of these negative interactions, let's look at the totality of a day, a month, a week. If you were to count all those minutes, hours, days, and interactions, are these interactions that we're having like this, is it really the majority of the time? And very quickly you'll realize, well, no, you just blow them up in your mind. You'll have a 10 second, a 10 second interaction with somebody or 30 second or a minute interaction in the day. And you'll blow it up and think about it all fucking day and be like, man, you know, people are assholes. No, you had a 30 second interaction that in your mind you blew up because you put too much focus and time and energy on it. Right. It's crazy. It's crazy. Right. Even right now, I have people in my uh, comment section being stupid, right? What's the point? Would I want to stop? Would I want to stop this and, and, go, and go after them? Why? It's stupid. I just blocked them and kicked them off the live. You know what I mean? And, and think about, in my mind, all the reasons I, 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 could, I could blow up on them or say something. Why? I'm just going to continue the podcast and I kick them off. No problem. But see, I had that choice. I had that choice. And, and that's one negative interaction I've gotten today. That's probably one bad message I've gotten today out of 100 that I've gotten that are good. So why would I trip out about that, right? And I'm glad it happened while I was on the podcast so I can tell you, you see? So ask yourself, how would you have reacted to that? How would you have reacted to that, right? So... I'll end it here. When you hear things like you've changed, understand where it's coming from. Understand where it's coming from and, and, and aim in your life as you're experiencing life. Because I always recommend you grab life by the horns, right? It's like the bull. You grab it by the horns and you experience. But as you're experiencing it and moving forward, you're acquiring new understandings and information that help you and aid you on your journey to be more productive and live a life that you enjoy. Free of a lot of the shackles, mental shackles that people have right? Look around you. It's very easy to see the status quo and the suffering, the mental anguish that people put themselves through, right? And it's not necessarily some of these conditions that you think, because we can bring up somebody not having a lot of money. I know people who don't have, can't rub two pennies together that are extremely happy. 
I know people who have horrible handicaps, physical handicaps, extremely happy and fulfilled. So what does that tell you? It's up here. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I appreciate everybody's support. As, as always, this podcast is sponsored by Team BC, my real estate team. If you guys are following the podcast, we have a YouTube channel. We're on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all the big, uh, you know, box brands, Stitcher, Podomatic, Podbean. We're on all that stuff, whatever your preferred platform is. Make sure you check us out and give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Uh, go to join Team BC if you're interested in joining my team. If you would like to join EXP Realty and you're interested in your real estate, go to partner with teambc.com. And lastly, shout out to Modern Success, my family. If you guys are looking for more support from me and help, go to um, briancasella.com and you can sign up there for Modern Success. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Peace out. We'll see you.